Are you sick of games where you play as an old, outdated barn? Autobarn, thrust you into a new era of automation. How about automatic barn doors? Whoa! How about an automatic cow milker? Ooh! How about automatic horse feeders? Nay! Autobarn, brought to us by Alley Cat Games, is the best in automated barn technology. It's not about barns. Hang on, what? What? Hang on, you're saying it's not about automatic barns. What the hell is it about then? It's about cars on a freeway. It's about cars on a freeway? What? What am I going to do with those seven bales of hay I ordered for the photo shoot? <sighs> In Autobahn, you are the managing director of the Bundes Autobahn, developing the federal network highway. So you think this game is just ticket to ride with a pick up and deliver mechanism? <laughs> Get out. So you think your job as managing director is nice and easy, just build some roads. Calm down, Tiger. Look so much more to it than that. You're going to build roads. You're going to deliver some goods. You're going to build some service stations. But at its heart, what you're trying to do is trying to get your employees into different construction offices, get them promoted up the ranks into different administration departments, and that is how you're going to get your points and win this game. And a game is nothing without its designers. And we have Fabio Loppiano and Nestore Mangoni. Now, sexy Fabio has brought us games like Ragusa, Merv, Zapotec, Nestore. He's normally hanging out with old mate Simone Luciani, but he's done Darwin's Journey, Newton. Damn, that's some fine Euro heritage right there. And that is some damn good pedigree. Now, that's the theme and that's the designers. So let's go over the basics of a round of Autobahn. But before we do, to understand the future, we need to understand the past. And where does this game begin? It begins at the end of World War II. Look, the Germans said, look, how can we make people happy again? Lots and lots of roads, they decided. Well, look, I'm sure they probably said it in more of a German accent, but anyway. Nine. You get the point. Look, building some roads is the purpose of this game. Now, look, I know you're salivating over these mechanics, so let's get into a round of Autobahn. Now you're going to start your turn by playing a card. Yes, this game is pretty much a deck builder. Each one of these cards is going to be played for its color. And it's going to be played into one of five different action spots. Those action spots are unlock a technology, build a road, upgrade a road, load a truck and build a service station. Next up, we're going to upgrade the city values from any roads we connect to those cities. Next, after that, we're going to promote our employees into the relative color construction office. And then finally, if we can, load a truck and start delivering some goods. So you get it. A purple card means you get to do things on the purple autobahn. Maybe you want to build a road on the purple autobahn. Maybe you want to upgrade a road on the purple autobahn. Maybe you want to deliver some goods starting off from the purple autobahn. Perhaps you want to build a service center on the purple autobahn. Someone else seeing a theme with this? Two overarching themes keep coming up time and time again. Build roads, deliver goods. Now let's touch on the delivering of the goods. Now we can deliver any sort of good to any country and we're gonna get some dollary dues here and dollary dues are nice. But what we wanna do is deliver the right type of good to the right country and then we're gonna get a bonus action. And these bonus actions are gonna help us with that efficiency puzzle. We've talked about things I loved. How about some things that I disliked in this game? And the main one is the administration phase. My goodness, you have to be a maths whiz. You're gonna go full goodwill hunting on this just to figure out the construction budget, then these route cards that they're hopeless. Look, at the end of the day, it was just such a complicated way to end each era. Then at the end of the game, you're also gonna do some more maths to find out how many points you got. Look, just, I don't know, just a whole bunch of maths, whatever. But yeah, I dislike that. So let's just stop the video right there. Look, that guy right there, 100% wrong. Look, admin, it's fine. Are we just a bunch of whinges now and we just don't want to do any counting because like, we have apps and phones and stuff now? No, do some bloody maths, get that brain working. I think this is a good thing. So that guy, wrong. Look at these little tiny chits on here. No double layering. Uh, I'm drunky, drunky. Uh! And that happens all the time. 
Now I'm going full bathtub approach in this review. Start off strong, then we got down to the ugly maths, and then we're gonna end strong because we are gonna end off on the solo mode. Now if I had played this game before I did my top 10 solo games of all time, I wonder if this would have made it. This is an incredible solo mode that actually makes you really feel like you're playing against an opponent. And they're the solo modes that I really love. Now, the one thing I'll say is about six pages of solo rules, like it's a fair bit to wrap your head around, but again, makes it feel like a proper game and that is a proper solo mode. So not even sure why you've made it this far through the video and you haven't flicked over the dice tower or something actually proper. But anyway, look, this guy's got it wrong again. Look, solo's great. Actually, he hasn't got it wrong, solo's great. But two players actually outstanding, and that's something I didn't bring up in this review. Look, so many strategic, sort of medium to heavyweight Euros don't scale well at two players. They just don't play well at two. This plays outstanding at two. It scales amazing. I absolutely love it at two. Just something I thought you might want to know. Look, if you're going to spend some money on this game, it's good to know it plays good at two. So there you go. Good facts. And there we have it. Autobahn. Not about barns, but German freeways. Don't be deceived by this cute cover. This game is kicking the nuts, analysis paralysis overload, and for a lot of people, it'll be just too much. So just something to be wary of. But if you're that sort of Euro gamer that loves that efficiency, loves that more efficiency, no luck, this is gonna be a game for you. Now, I have the Kickstarter version, got three little modules, don't need them, but they're nice to have. Anyway, Autobahn, pick it up in your local store if you see it. Anyway, that's it from me. If you love these videos, love what I do, appreciate what I do, cheeky little sub, love that. And anyway, leave a comment, just say hi, I just wanna know you exist. Anyway, that's it, I'm Hoax, this is Board Game Bangers, this is Autobahn, till next time. <laughs> ah. Laters. <laughs>